This video tutorial will demonstrate how to remotely connect to your Echo 4 DVR using the Lorex Echo Stratus app with your iPhone. First step is to connect your DVR to your router using the included Ethernet cable. Next step is to install the free Lorex Echo Stratus app from the App Store. Once downloaded, tap the Lorex Stratus icon to open the app. Next step is to tap the device manager, tap the plus button, under name, enter the name of your DVR of your choice, and then press the QR code icon. Then line up the QR code on the top of your Echo 4 DVR. When you hear the chime, your device ID has been scanned. By default, the client port is 9000. The username by default is admin. And the password by default is 000000. Tap save. If this is the first time connecting, you will be prompted to change the DVR password. Tap OK and then enter a new password of your choice. Double tap the live view screen to make it full screen. To take a screenshot, tap the camera icon. To take manual recordings, tap the video recording icon. You can select different channels. And you can also have PTZ controls if you have a PTZ camera connected to your DVR. To use remote playback mode, from the main menu, tap remote playback. Select the channel you would like to play back from, and also the date. Playback begins at the earliest available recordings from the selected day, and use the on-screen playback controls. The green section there is recorded footage. To view your screenshots from the main menu, tap Image Manager. Select the DVR with screenshots you'd like to view, and tap that screenshot. To view your manual recordings from the main menu, tap Record Playback. Tap the DVR you'd like to manual record from, Tap the recorded file you'd like to view, and then use the on-screen controls. Slow, pause, play, fast forward, and the next frame. To delete a DVR from the device manager, open device manager, and swipe right to left, and tap delete. Tap delete to confirm. To modify a DVR from the main menu, tap device manager, tap on the DVR you'd like to modify, and change the configurations as needed, and tap save. Thanks for watching.